Recently, an Android system update notification had popped up in our Xiaomi TV Box S second gen screen. When we looked into the update description, it just says it contains Google security patches and perfect system stability. While we're expecting a more sensible description, we cannot miss on getting some of that perfect system stability, so we proceeded with the update. Anyhow, pushing updates without putting in a detailed change log seems to be a trend with device manufacturers nowadays, so we cannot blame Xiaomi if they want to join in the fun. Regardless, most of the times, getting a system update is positive, because it's an indication that the manufacturer is still providing support for the device. This is not true all the time though, like what happened to the previous generation Mi Box S, a few months ago. Xiaomi released an update upgrading the 5-year-old device, from Android TV 9 to Android TV OS version 12. After upgrading, a lot of users have reported sluggishness and new issues, that Xiaomi decided to pull out the update. Until now, the update is nowhere to be seen, and we don't even know if they'll ever release the update again. You can subscribe to our channel though, if you want to be updated when it comes out. We already said a lot in this video, but the update is still running in the background so we'll speed it up, so that we can finally see what's new. After the update, we were greeted with the about page saying that the Android tvOS security patch level was updated to September 5, 2023, and that the kernel version was built on the 12th of October. Other than that, we weren't able to find any noticeable changes in the UI and in the system behavior. Is this why it only says, perfect system stability in the description? But then, we were pleasantly surprised when we rebooted the device and was greeted with a new features screen from Google TV. It says new features November 2023 and it looks like the update came from Google TV itself. There are three main features mentioned here and let's go through each of them, to check out the details. First up is Quick Profile Setup. With this feature, you can now easily add profiles from your phone to the device by scanning a QR code. This feature can be seen when you try to add a new account to your device. As a default option, a QR code will now be shown on the screen, allowing you to add the account through your phone. This is definitely a faster way of adding account to the device, but the old option of signing on to the TV is still there, just in case you don't have your phone with you or if you're just one of those people who likes to do things the hard way. Anyway, the new method works incredibly well, in that you only need to open up the camera app in your phone and scan the QR code. By default, it will then ask you to pick the Google account that is currently being used in your phone. If you have multiple accounts, it will ask you to choose which one you want to add to Android TV. And finally, for final verification, it will ask you to retype the password for the account. After completing these steps, the rest of the process can then be done from the TV. The main convenience here is that you don't need to type your account credentials using the remote. Similar to the initial device setup, you will need to accept the terms and condition for Google services again to proceed. The rest of the setup is related to activating additional features such as Google Assistant and personalized recommendations. So that's it for the first new feature. Note that this functionality has been in Google Chromecast for a while now, and it's good to see it being extended to other devices. Moving on, the next highlight feature is Continue Watching Row Improvements. The Continue Watching Row has been standard in Android TV and Google TV for a while now, and we found to really appreciate it when it correctly collects and displays the content that we're watching from different streaming platforms. However, there are instances when it shows the incorrect episode when we're watching TV series, or sometimes some videos don't get listed at all. Hopefully, some of these issues will be fixed with this update, as it also says that it added support for more apps such as YouTube and YouTube TV. Fortunately, it's also fairly easy to remove shows and movies from this list as you only need to hover over the video you want to remove, press and hold on select button on the remote, and select hide from the options. In this way, you'll have some form of control over which items are displayed in the continue watching row. Note though that this list seems to be shared across all profiles in the device, which is a major oversight if you ask us. So you need to be careful when removing items from this list if you're sharing the device with others, as it may incur someone's wrath. The final feature is related to Google TV mobile app integration. This was one of the features that we're missing after we've used Google Chromecast. This feature allows you to use the Google TV app in your phone as a remote. 
Same as in the other streaming app, it also lets you directly cast your purchased or rented movies and shows from Google Play Store from your phone. Similar to how it's done from Netflix or YouTube app. To connect, you need to open up Google TV app in your phone, and press on the TV nearby button. Before the update, our Xiaomi TV Box S 2nd Gen doesn't show in the available devices. This time, we were able to get the device pairing request screen as soon as we select our device. Pairing was successful and we can now open up the remote functionality to control the device. The remote functionality is very responsive, and we can see using this when we don't have the physical remote nearby. It even has the volume buttons and you can also swap to swipe controls instead of using the D-pad. This is definitely a welcome addition to the device's feature set. We're hoping to see some more of these features migrated from Google Chromecast to this device in the future. And that's it for our look at the November 2023 features updates for Xiaomi TV Box S 2nd Gen. This is the third time we received an update for this device since it was released this year. And it's even impressive to see it having the same security patch level as Google Chromecast. In our previous comparison video, we mentioned that this device performs better in day-to-day -day use, and it's even nicer now, seeing that it's also gradually keeping up in the software side of things. Let us know in the comments which other features you want to be added to this device, and what do you think is the most important functionality for your use case. Please also hit the like button if you find this video helpful. Again, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.